here a number of times before. I know he hosts a room um, down in Arlington on Sundays. Silly Sundays, I believe, in the Red Room, something like that. Um, I know the restaurant is it. Well, I'll let him tell y'all that. I'll tell y'all after. Fuck it. Put y'all hands together for my fucking Vince Barnett. Come on. Keep it going. Keep going for Rob, y'all. Take your time to this motherfucking crap. Holy shit, y'all was fucking playing basketball with my son earlier. He didn't broke my ankles. How y'all doing tonight? Y'all doing tonight? Shut up, shut up. I usually fuck with white people, but I'm not gonna fuck with white people tonight, so y'all gotta break. The next time y'all see me, I'm gonna light y'all asses up. Just know that I like fucking with white people because y'all fuck with us. <laughs> I'm not gonna be up here too much longer because y'all might think I'm gonna sail or something. I won't be up here because I'm gonna sail. That's just new shit I'm trying to work out. Y'all ain't gonna hear about Barry Bonds? Anybody follow the Barry Bonds case? This shit was crazy, man. His mistress came out and testified against him. She said his feet swelled up, his hands, his hair was big, like, what the fuck? He had a malformed penis. What is a malformed penis? I had to look that up. Anybody here with a malformed penis? It's a two-headed penis. Hasn't that man suffered enough? But well, she stood by his side. She stayed by his side through all that shit. Y'all wanna know why she stayed by his side? Because two heads are better than one. That's what I'm talking about. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. I like that. Like, it's smart. That's y'all like that one. That's new. I'm trying to still need some work. Okay. Now this is the point in my act where I usually fuck with white people, but I'm gonna talk about black people today because I got an issue with black. Because black people do some messed up stuff too. I have an issue with the but white people want you to help me with this joke. I'm gonna ask you some questions. I want you guys to respond when I ask you a question. Don't feel bad. Don't worry about the black people. I got it under control. The black with the mic is in control at all times. So don't be afraid. Okay. I got an issue with the NAACP. Now, does anybody know what the NAACP stands for? Yes. Don't be such a bust to call that shit out, all right? I'm gonna ask one white person to tell me what the NAACP stands for. <laughs> the National what? <laughs> See? You ain't, you ain't gotta be afraid. You ain't gotta be afraid. What does the National Association, what, what does it mean, the NAACP? Association for the National Association. All right, she got it. Y'all better see something wrong with that fucking name. Now, I'm gonna ask y'all again, any white people here see anything wrong with that name? The word color. It's crazy, man. We got a black president. Like, we would be upset if there was like a national social for the bands for white people right next door, right? Yeah. They should do something about that name. So I've been giving this a lot of thought. I think we should change it to the National Association for the Advancement of African People. Well, it's a little bit less, less, less offensive, right? Or nappy for short. That's what I'm thinking. Right? <laughs> nice! Oh, that shit, That's brand new shit. That's fire. I love that one. No matter where the fuck you going with that one? Where you going? Me and my wife have a lot of sex with other people. That's like. Right. No, man, my wife is always doing something to bear. We try to keep the relationship fresh. The other day she came up to me, she's like, won't you call me mahogany and we make love? I'm like, I'll call you mahogany. So it was a couple days past and we making love, you know, hitting it from the back and stuff. She's like, what's my name? So I called her by her name. I'm like, she's like, no, what's my name? I was like, oh shit. That's the name that she gave me. I couldn't could remember, I knew it was a wood, but I didn't know which one. The worst thing you could do when making love to a woman is call her by the wrong name. But worse than that, it's called by the wrong made up name. That should get you in trouble, man. I was like, oh, pine, the fuck? <laughs> One day she came home, she, she read this article that said that pumpkins are an aphrodisiac. Right? Did you guys know that? Pumpkins turn them in on. There's some chemical in pumpkins that we can't resist. Wow. It's true, it's true. So I come home one day. She making pumpkin pie, she got pumpkin poultry, pumpkin scented candles, pumpkin perfume. I was like a fucking pumpkin patch. So later on night, I'm in the bedroom. True story, true story. I'm in the bedroom laying down. She come up there, a little necklace jay, little pumpkin colored panties. <laughs> She's like, you not excited? You don't wanna make love? I'm like, no, I already fucked the pumpkin. What? You, <laughs> you read the article, you don't be no pumpkin around your man. She's like, where is it at? Like, I ate it. That's the best part. You eat it afterwards. That's the <laughs> ladies, y'all got competition. I love to eat that fucking pumpkin, boy. 
Alright. So no, let me get that. I wasn't talking about Mexicans, but I don't even know what. Yo, that's my time. My name is Rich Warner. You guys are great. Enjoy